It's your girl Passion Monday, aka PUD Exquisite, back with another video. <clears throat> Today I am at Oakland Library and I'm in a study room. I need to study. Um, I have about three weeks into the midterm exam for my medical terminology class, so really need to study. I'm going to start off with chapter one. So I wrote the agenda of everything I have to do, which is a lot to cover. And I'm just going to break it up into 25 minute intervals um, and just take a break in between. Um, I have the room for two hours today, um, but I'm only covering two chapters. So um, the rest of that time I'll work on another chapter. terms um, so the singular for example if the word ends in a the plural of that would be ea so yeah as it goes along ax and then I have all of the plurals listed the singular so if it was for example ganglion for the singular, the plural will be ganglia. If um was the suffix, the plural of that suffix will be a, and so forth and so on with the rest of these. And this is gonna help me remember with the medical terms because most medical terms end in these most popular suffixes. Um, and these are the plurals for that. So um, I just wrote it down and it's gonna help me remember, especially for the midterm. So next I'm gonna work on the prefixes and suffixes. I have the answer sheets, but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is write each prefix down and try to um, guess the meaning on the whiteboard. Um, and then I'm gonna check my answers and whatever answers I get wrong, I know I just need to work on those. I'm gonna write them down and just write the meaning of them on the side or try to match it to the main. So uh, let's get started. Okay y'all, so this is what I meant. On this side, I wrote down the answer choices. So it could be either of these answer choices and these are the questions. So these are the suffixes, right? 15 suffixes and 15 letters that I have to match each one with. I have an ick that means pertaining to, so I know it's G. Algebra, I think a fibromyalgia, so I think of pain, so I know the that's condition of pain. Um, so, number three and four could be tricky because tomy and ectomy sound so much alike. But when I think of ectomy, I think of vasectomy. And I know when they're doing vasectomy, they're doing removal or excision. So, vasectomy, I know that that one would be D. So we have G, I, D, Emia. Uh, I think of, for Emia, I think of anemia, 
um, ischemia. Um, what else? Yeah, things like that. It has to do with the blood, something with the blood. So it's J blood condition. For gram, um, electrocardiogram, which is EKG. Um, we know that that's a record, a way to keep a record of something. So that one will be E. Itis, um, you think of bronchitis, um, encephalitis. Um, things of that nature. Anything with itis at the end has to do with inflammation. Logist, so um, psychologist, um, even out of medical terms, um, archaeologist or um, biologist. We know that that is um, a specialist in some form of study. I said ologist, like a biologist, is a specialist in that form of study. So ology would be the process of study. So biology. Another one is OMA. So OMA, sorry, let me fix that. Glycoma, um, what else? Um, um, carcinoma, um, things of that nature have to do with tumor, either a tumor or a mass. Okay, so I finished covering what I needed to cover in chapter one. Right now it is, um, it's 9.55, so I'm gonna take a five minute break. And then the second half, I'm going to work on chapter two. Kind of running behind. I didn't mean to. Uh, well, actually, I'm not running behind. Um, I got a good time, and I got about uh, one more hour to go. But the um, five minute break is next. The second half, I'll do chapter two, which is the body as a whole. Um, and that pertains to the cells, the genes, chromosomes, and things of that nature. I have a whole lot to come for that one, so I'm probably going to need that whole hour. Um, I said the last 50 minutes I was going to use for this, but um, I don't have time for that one. So, yeah, I'm going to work on the whole chapter 2 after this 5 minute break. make up organelles. Organelles make up cells. Cells make up tissues. Tissues make up organs and then organs of course make up organ systems and that is the body as a whole which is chapter two. Okay so now I move to popular um, definitions for protein. It's a food substance um, based on amino acids. Lipid is the fatty compounds um, like cholesterol, um, other stuff like that. DNA, um, I just summed it up. It's the hereditary characteristics found in chromosomes. Um, the zygote is the result when sperm fertilizes the egg. 
And cytology, um, of course, is the study of cells. Okay, the next set of definitions, we have electrolytes, um, which are substances that when they dissolve, they form a, um, electrically charged particles. We have hormones, which are um, a chemical formed in tissues or organs, and they carry, um, they're carried by blood. They stimulate or inhabit the function of another tissue or organ. The nucleus, um, this one is pretty easy. It's one of the largest organelles, and it directs all cell activity. It also has its own membrane. Chromosomes um, is found in the nucleus of the cells, uh, which we spoke about up here. Um, so in this nucleus, it contains DNA and genes, things like that. Cytoplasm. Um, it's clear, um, sort of jelly-like fluid, and it forms the substance of the cell. So um, only of the cell, but not the nucleus. So um, because you know the nucleus has its own membrane. Um, so the cytoplasm pretty much just um, forms the substance around the cell. Okay, so for the next set of definitions, we have anabolism. Now this is the buildup of complex substances from smaller ones. Um, so yeah, like um, if your body is building a protein, build up is anabolism. You go to catabolism, which is the breakdown of complex substances into smaller ones, okay? Okay, so if it has kata, that means breakdown. Ana means build up. So it's right here. Build up, kata, breakdown. Now we get to metabolism. Now metabolism is the sum of the build up, which is anabolism, and the breakdown, which is catabolism. Last set of definitions, I have a gene, um, it's the functional unit of heredity um, in the chromosomes. Of course, the chromosomes are part of the DNA um, genome. Now that is the complete set of genes. Mitosis, um, of course, that's cell division. So um, it creates two identical cells and each of those cells have 46 chromosomes. Epigenetic, um, so it studies the, the, the disorders produced by chemical compounds and um, environmental influences. So um, whether it's um, pollution or um, just any other thing as well. Okay, so this is the last part before I have to leave. Um, going over tissues, organs, and organ systems. So the functions of tissues are storage, transport, and they support the framework of the body. Um, there are four types of tissue groups, which is connective, epithelial, muscle, and nervous. Now we're gonna get into the connective tissues. So cartilage, cartilage, it's a flexible, rubbery, gliding surface um, where two bones form a joint. Um, ligaments. So ligaments are strips or um, bands of fibrous connective tissues uh, made of collagen, and they connect two structures. Um, tendons are thick, strong connective. Um, they, so they connect the muscle to the bone. So cartilage, just remember, is flexible and rubbery. Ligaments are strips, um, strips or bands. And then you have tendons that are really strong and they connect the muscle to the bone. Okay, so I have about two minutes left of my session. I'm gonna pack up and then I'm going to um, head out.